What's going on guys, Storm6678 back with another tutorial. So today I am going to be bringing you how to use overlays, more specifically film burns. Now you saw at the beginning, uh, it was a little segment from my Divinity montage edit. It's not a montage because it's short. Uh, my Divinity edit and um, you guys may or may not have been able to see the film burn that I used. But let's just play this back right here so we can get another sense of it. Oh my god. Alright, so if you guys see right here, the film burn comes in during this transition and then all the way through the next transition. So the main thing that I want to explain to you guys is film burns are mostly used for transitions and then I use some of them for like build-ups to shots or on shot effects but mainly use them for transitions if you overuse them it ruins the edit I get shit on for it a lot but I that's my style and I like how it looks so that's what I do now before I show you guys exactly how to do this make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button I've been growing a lot and I really appreciate all the support and it would really help me out if you guys uh, could like and subscribe. Um, it would mean the world to me. But um, other than that, let's just get into it. Alright, so I'm going to delete this and I'm going to insert a new track. So this is a clean track. So after you have all your editing, your syncing, your transitions, um, like kind of in the workflow process, the fill, like overlays and overlays, sound effects, and black bars are the last three things I do uh, for my montage. You want to make sure you have everything else set, like the sync, the flow, the transitions, the shot, the impact. Everything should be set before you do your overlays and sound effects. Now, so here we have our track. Now the biggest mistake that people make is they put their film burn on the track ready this is the film burn and then they turn the opacity down no that's wrong don't do that um so i have right here is my ultimate film burn pack i will be putting the link to purchase that in the description below you can purchase for a small payment of two dollars and it will give you let's see how many light leaks film burns um it's not 74 it's probably i think it's around 50 i did around 50 or 60 i forget exactly it says it on my pay hip but if you want to support that channel please go and take a look at that i have some other free stuff and cheap stuff on my pay hip so if you could uh take a peek at that that would be dope so now that i have my film burns uh i'm gonna select something like a simple i'm pretty sure i used this one uh, to match the vibe of the song, you always want to match the vibe of the song with your film burn. So like if you're doing an indie vibe, you want to do, say, a uh, warm burn like red and orange, mostly orange and yellow, stuff like that. But if you're doing like an EDM or like a pop rap song, typically people use like cooler colors like blue and purple. So this is the burn we're going to use, but this is the blue one. I really like blue uh, for Fortnite videos. but um we're gonna be using this film burn um all these film burns were custom made by me and like i said before if you want to support me check out my pay hip in the description below all right so we got that in here you want to right click or left click then right click properties disable resample always do that now you see i loaded it in and, and i loaded it in son of a bitch i loaded it in and there was a audio with it all you got to do is right click and delete that track it doesn't do anything so now like i said you don't turn the opacity down that just looks like shit what you do is you want to go where it starts so i want it to start a little bit before this transition and then end after this transition delete delete and then you want to go over to this track that it's on right and then you're going to go, um, where is it? Excuse me. 
you're going to go to this track right here and you're going to click uh, compositing mode and you're going to make it screen. All right. So that way it'll be it'll be an overlay, you know, like the black will screen it. So sorry, let me just do that again. So it starts on source alpha, right, which is this. And then when you go to screen, you can see it. Now, if I go keyframe to keyframe. Now, if you see when I go through keyframe by keyframe, you can see the film burn. It's a little hard with the uh, RSMB, but you can see the film burn and you saw it in the preview. So now what I like to do is I like to fade it in and fade it out. So I just do a long fade in between 10 and uh, 20 frames is, is pretty good. And then once you have that, that's you're good to go. It's basically a plug and play right there. So, um, yeah, mainly use this for transitions. One more thing before I wrap up this video is when you do, uh, do change the compositing mode to screen, you can put other, uh, like overlays on that track and it'll do the same thing. So typically what I like to do is I like to rename my track uh, overlay. I can't type for shit. And when I do that, it just helps me when I'm like working. Um, like you see, I have scenes, copy of scenes, and then I don't think I have anything else, but, um, that's, I typically name them. So I know where I'm at, especially when I have this many, uh, tracks, but anyways, uh, that's all for today guys i really appreciate you guys watching and thank you for all the support i've been getting recently i'm trying to upload twice a week next week i'm going to try to increase bump that up to like three four times but uh once again i appreciate the uh you guys stopping by make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace